Now we have multiple pages in our application, so let's add some navigation to easily go between the pages. So we'll create a common layout component like we have in the previous projects. And we'll start by importing link to create our navigation from next slash link. We'll say const layout. And we'll first return a div with the class of root. Within that, a nav, the class of navbar. And then we'll have a span where we'll greet our user. We'll say welcome. And since we aren't bringing the user into the layout yet, we're just going to include some strong tags and say guest. So welcome guest. After the span, we'll include a div which will hold all of our links. We'll start with a link to the home page. So we'll pass it the root route for the href. And then the text will be home. Then a link to a profile page, the text profile. We'll have a button which will eventually allow our auth users to log out. Then at the end, a link to login with the text login. And once again, layout will wrap each page, so we'll get from props children, display the children underneath the nav, and above the children we'll have our title and an h1, which we'll also get from props. And then we can include our styles. So the root class We'll have a display of flex, align items center, justify content center, and flex direction column to center everything. The nav bar be a width of 100%, display flex, and justify content of space around for our links. All of the links will have a margin right of half half of an M. And then we'll make our button, our logout button, to look kind of like a link by setting text decoration to underline, padding to zero, font to inherit, cursor to pointer, border style none, and color to RGB. 0, 0, 0238. So once we save everything and we'll make sure to export our layout. Now we'll add it to both of our pages. So we'll import the top of login layout from the components folder. And we'll wrap our login form with it. We'll pass it a title of login. And we'll copy the import and head to profile where we'll import it and wrap our pre tags with it. We'll give it a title of profile. And we'll have one more page. We'll create our index page. And this will be very basic. We'll just import our layout. We'll import a link. And we'll write this as a function declaration again. So we can use export default. So export default function index. And we'll return a layout, the title of home, and within it, a link with an href to the profile page. And the text will be go to profile. So if we save everything, 
we can check out our navigation. Now, things might look a bit odd right now, but that's because we're including all of the links for our, our navigation, and obviously only some of them are going to be appropriate at a given time. For an authenticated user, we'll give them the profile link, but of course for an unauthenticated user, we wouldn't want them to have that. We don't want them to go there. And the same applies to logout. That would be for an authenticated user and not for an unauthenticated one. So we need to show a little bit different navigation depending upon who's signed in. So this layout component needs to know about the status of our user, whether they're authenticated or not, and also for the purposes of showing their name. We want to welcome them if they're signed in. We want to change this from guest to their name that they're signed in with. So again, how do we pass our user data that we have for our authenticated user to our layout component? We'll take a look at that in the next section.